Hey, welcome back to the Galaxandrian Codex. I'm Alex. This is Knights of the Old Republic. We are going to go talk about our lightsaber. Hello, Dorak. Ah, Dorak. You have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you. Extra. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Yeah. What color is Blue that? is the color of the Jedi Guardian. We're not doing this that. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the light. It's tempting, but Yellow my strength and dexterity suck. the color of suck. the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They maybe focus Sentinel? less on combat and more on other skills. I don't love others. Sentinel, but maybe Green Sentinel. is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. Sentinel, they probably, between yeah. between other groups, of using the their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Blah. I want to be a Sentinel. Indeed. We shall see. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Take a personality test. Um, figure out why they're attacking her. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? You are the chosen one. Find out why they turned to the dark side. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Knock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Okay. All right, I don't remember the difference, honestly. Uh, KOTOR classes. All right, strategywiki.com, what do you got? Uh, do, 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 do. So, soldier, let's see, one of the, da, 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 da. Scout is, let's switch back to that. Scout is not what we did. We went scoundrel, right? Yes, yeah, scoundrel. So we are good reflexes and level up. Yeah, yeah. Skill points is four quests in total. Oh, oh, okay. So our skills are pretty good. Jedi Guardian gets one plus your intelligence divided by two, okay? Uh, Sentinel gets two plus your intelligence divided by two, right? Counselor gets one. So Sentinel definitely gets more skills here. Armor proficiency, no, but you get lightsaber proficiency and that's what matters. You get focus on persuade and awareness. Oh, but that's it? Counselor is way better for computer use, demolitions, persuade, repair, and security, which are things that I want to be good at. So we might have to go with Consular, even though they won't get as many skill points, it'll be better distributed. Uh, you will get Jedi Sense, Force Focus, Jedi Defense. You won't give me... Gain the Force Feet automatically and makes it harder for opponents to resist their Force Powers. That's quite good. Uh, gain Jedi Immunity makes them immune to fear. That's garbage. But they get Force Jump. Force Jump lets you instantly close distance and attack opponents within 10 meters, which is very cool. But I think we're going to go with Consular. Every time I played this game, I've always gone Guardian because it's the easiest, but Consular. And again, it speaks to the game design here that the game isn't telling me anything about how any of these classes work or what it gives me or mechanically what's going to be the consequence of my decision. It isn't letting me look behind the mirror at all, I have to go outside of the game to figure out what this in-game in cha 
that choice actually affects. So, counselor. Here is a green crystal. Yeah. So, I'm a counselor, level 9. If I'm level 9, that means max level is 20? That means I'm only going to hit 11. Fuck, so I'm never going to get, and this is one thing I really hate about this game, I'm never going to get Master Force Focus or Master Sense because of the ma the maximum level in this game. Uh, boy, uh, okay. Alright. Game balance. Game balance. So we get two points? C counselor was the one I wanted to pick, right? Counselor. Not many points. But, yes. Okay. So, top two are computer use and repair. Because these use spikes and repair parts. Demolitions is also important. Repair, persuade is also important, but that'll come. Our intelligence is only 14. Yeah, feats. We've gained proficiency in lightsaber. We've gotten Jedi sense, Jedi defense, and force sensitive. I'm just going to immediately go focus on lightsaber. Now, Master Dueling is actually better. Never mind. I'll remove that feat. Give me Master Dueling because this gives us a plus one to attack and defense, whereas this only gives us a plus one to attack. So, Dueling is overall better for us to pick up here. Cure is very good, but that's not what I want to get. What I want to get is Effect Mind. Yeah, only the main character can select this power during level up. Effect Mind, and later Dominate Mind, lets you mind control people. Once a Jedi has this power, extra options appear in conversations as appropriate, so you can mind control people. So we're just picking up Dominate Mind and Effect Mind immediately. We're a charisma build. It only makes sense to do that. Huh? You, my mans, are more than welcome to level up. Let's get you some dexterity. Because you're shooting a lot. Wait. There's no way that the ranged weapon you're using is strength-based. Right? Right? I, I, it may be possible. Do, 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 do. Treat injury. Feats. Master toughness. Accept. Excellent. What? Let's go put this bitch together. Now, a lot of what made ah, Guardians fun to play is that you jump around, you can use force speed to go really fast, and that's quite cool, but not really fits fitting with uh, the character concept we have going on so far. So we have a power crystal. We don't have any power crystals at all. We just have our main crystal, green, assemble it. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye to our terrible... Actually, hold on. This has 2 to 16, crits on a 19, no bonus to attack. Whereas this is 1 to 10, so significantly less damage. However, this is actually 4 to 13 damage. So, this is quite good. Crits on a 19. This has an attack modifier of 1. So, this does less damage, but actually hits more often. Now, I'm not going to use it. Just making a point by pointing that out. Uh, let's go ahead and strip the upgrades off of this because I'm not going to be using it. I am using Ichani Fiber Armor because when you're in armor, you can't use Force Powers, but it doesn't really done. matter because well I don't have any. Constructing your lightsaber, apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. Because it's not These the first crystals time. are very rare. Found only in certain caves strong in the force. By We're adding find crystals a lot to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. Yep. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain force sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Yep. I can find it crystals on Dantooine. Only. I do not know if there's any truth in it, but you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. 
and you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? Yeah! For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. Uh, what's causing the corruption? The Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. You know more than you're telling me. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care. And those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. Yep. Man, Bastila can't come with us, so let's get these two fuckboys in tow and head on out. There's probably something else I can or should be doing, but nah. I'm out. What? Hello. The council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Yes. Nemo. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Nah, I found you. That's it. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Found him. Gar, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Your voice sounds familiar. I don't know. Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? It sounds like somebody putting on a voice. Who are my you? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife Rilke here. A uh, pleasure. Live on one of the northern farms. Come on, man. but just why can't have fine The wife. Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. Mandalorians. Ever since the Republic beat them years ago. Little groups have been roaming all over the place. They're pathetic. They're taking scraps when they should be taking worlds. <laughs> the, Sith the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? <laughs> I got a hard situation right here. Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yeah. May the... Oh, okay, Gar. Rilke? Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. Jesus Christ. Gender roles. How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors. Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. What are you talking Those about? Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. Only an idiot says no when they have a gun in their face. They killed her? There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Maybe 
you can make it worth my while. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Kill them. Kill them all. Me? Ah yes, you're a Jedi. I'm grateful your people harbor me in my times of need. You might give something back. After my fight, all I have to ask is to give him my thanks. What happened to you and victim refugee? Uh, they bomb my world, scour continents, oil the ocean, sit there down. But I run here, find the Jedi already here, unknown, they take me in one left of a billion years for public fights and not wins. Okay, okay, okay. Why the fuck are you here? What? Why does this person have a name? If. <laughs> because so many other people are just settler. Settler. He could have just had the name Refugee. And that would have been fine. But instead, giving him a name like John or. Rilka or Gar makes it seem like there's a quest associated with them. Unless everybody gets a name, don't give Brando his names. Luis, you, you and your droid. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion. You see. Your companion. We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. My I God. searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? It is possible. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. <laughs> good they have good detective work, lady. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. It been opened from the inside. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming. Your missing companion is a droid. Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. Uh, what do you use him for exactly? He is a personal assistance droid. Uh -huh. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last taking legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Right. Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. If I happen to see him, I'll send him back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Right. Cool. Adam Larp. Greetings, fellow sentient. I noticed you were not heavily armed, or at least not heavily armed enough. Please allow myself to introduce myself. I'm Adam, a simple merchant with much noble purpose. purpose. Yes, purpose. Settlers and nobles of Dantooine have been plagued by Cathounds, Raiders, and other fearsome troubles of late. It is much, much too sad to see these things happen to such people as this. I, therefore, have made my mission to be. Mission. To overcome their troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Therefore, I shall offer the highest quality of weapons at the lowest of low prices for them. I am here offering you much in the way of weaponry, low, low prices. How can any since you pass up such a bargain? They cannot. Weaponry it is, and weaponry I have. What is it that you would like for me this fine day? Let me see what you're saying. Yes, yes, here's the best you can find anywhere on this world. Never gonna do this, but like, Cinegar War Suit, pretty fucking good. 7 plus 3, that's a total of 10. You resist Sonic quite well. Pretty okay. You get Cassus Fett's Battle Armor. Defense 10 plus 0. So, you know, not bad, but it's heavy. So I can't use either of these. But Candorus could use this. It's upgradable too. Cassus Fett's Battle Armor is real good. Brazentium, uh, pretty good, but it's medium. We have a bunch of mines. Basically, he just has a couple of pretty okay suits of armor. But, you know, whatever. Pretty good okay is... Better than bad. But we are nowhere near the market for buying that right now. Maybe later. Maybe not. We'll see. Alright, Cathound time. I've picked up a slightly different weapon. Not even better. 
and no ability to heal because I thought it was so important to persuade. I think maybe the best way to transition between classes is go soldier and then go into guardians, build a dexterity, build. And, and, man, I don't know. There's a lot of feats you get between the start of the game and this point in the game. So, mm. ah. Oh, yeah, guys. Just go ahead and open fire on all that shit. Thanks. Jesus Christ, you're running in a straight circle here. There. There we go. Cat hounds, for the most part, don't leave remains behind. But we're getting XP and. That's what matters. Not the most active game, in that it kind of plays itself sometimes. Like, case in point right here. You asked for this! There we go. Down, down, down. I was thinking of streaming Stellaris today, but because new DLC just came out, the save game I was running might not be properly compatible with the current version of the game I'm running. But I don't want to make it... I don't want to run an older version of the game because the mod I've been playing, Star Trek New Horizons, has introduced some pretty cool stuff that I want to play around with. So I'm, I'm at the point where we will have to abandon the ongoing campaign and start a new one, which isn't the end of the world. But I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that, if I'm feeling up to doing that, etc, etc. And I, I think I probably am. But this campaign is ongoing, and I haven't uh, uh, posted any of these on YouTube yet. They're all uploaded past streams, but they haven't been properly integrated. What? How? Excuse you? How did you get past? Us. I'm confused. Yeah, going out of my way to kill that for the 200 XP, killing all these cathounds for that mad, mad experience. Like, I'm tempted to play as the United. Earth again in order to recreate the United Federation of Planets again, but I, I don't know. I think they have the most content made for them, which is what's made them so attractive, but there are some other very interesting races. Uh, I don't know. We're not going into the strange ruins yet. This is where we're going after we become a proper Jedi. Well, more of a proper Jedi, but I just wanted to clear this area out now. I think these Cathounds respawn. So if you really wanted to grind for XP, you you could do it here fairly well, actually. Huh. Grinding wasn't really... Grinding for experience wasn't really a skill set I had integrated when I played this game when I was younger. But now is a more seasoned game of fish the concept I am much more familiar with. Man, so Cat Hounds kind of annoying in that they're not dropping anything. There's no loot to be had around here, so healing myself mildly difficult. Because I didn't pick up a healing ability. Because it's not in keeping with this character's theme. Problematic in many ways. Oh! gonna be fine. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, this should be okay. Should be okay. No, 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 uh -huh. He didn't need to drag in something else. Now it might not be so okay. This hits, we're fine. We're fine. This is gonna be fun. Jesus Christ. I'm here. And none of them dropped anything of value. Do we slowly heal outside of combat? Or is it just canvas that slowly heals? How the fuck is canvas slowly healing? Excuse you? Fortitude? No. 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 Explain yourself. So you have... Okay, 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 okay. Gains an additional... This is an addition to the yada 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 yada. Yeah, what's up with that tick? Because I'm not healing him. I'm confused. Return to the Ebonhawk. Can I just use the medical bay on the Ebonhawk and then transport back? Transit back. Yeah, okay, you can just quick travel to heal. Well, fuck ever buying healing items. If I can just transit back and forth, that's definitely the way I want to do it. <laughs> So critical strikes improve the crit range of abilities, right? Let me make sure I understand what this is before I'm using it. So this doubles the critical range. So if it was a crit on a 20, which this is a crit on a 19 or 20, so this has a crit range of 2, this will double that crit range to 4. So on a 20, 19, 18, or 17, this will crit, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, doubles the crit range. If the attack hits, the target is also stunned for 6 seconds unless they make a fortitude uh, with a difficulty check of my level plus my strength modifier. God, yeah, that's not good. But it worked. Okay, maybe I should just be using this ability. Because it's twice as likely to crit, it makes me more vulnerable, but it also gets a stun, and I do additional damage against stunned targets because of my sneak attack. Sneak attack adds 3 18 points of extra damage to targets that can't... to attacks when the target can't respond to the attacker. The extra damage... Da -da 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 -da. Sneak attack only works within 10 meters. Oh, okay. Uh, against stunned, otherwise mobile targets, and any stealth attacks. Yeah. So... Yeah, I should have been using that up until now. I think the downside of using Critical Strike is this feat lowers defense by 5 when used, so it makes me potentially easier to kill, and because I've been so squishy, I've been resistant of the idea of being even more so, but... That kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> That's very good. Nothing back here in this corner? Doesn't look like it. No, 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 no. Ugh, yeah, that's just an ugly mesh. Okay, then we could exit over here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sweep up here, kill these cathounds, go over here, kill these cathounds, walk to the far end of... Yeah, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm no longer begrudging having scoundrel... <laughs> It just is something I have to think more about, whereas with Guardian you get a lot of passive bonuses rather than abilities you have to actively use. Time to rumble. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. We could have been doing much better up until now. <laughs> Still, it adds my strength, and my strength is uh, not good. Not at all good. 
So we'll have to keep building up that. Dexterity I want to improve because it like makes us harder to hit. Like but strength I want to improve because it makes us hit harder. Unfortunately, we do not have weapon finesse for the lightsaber, unlike the guardian class, so we can't make Dex do lightsaber damage. Our lightsaber damage is based entirely out of strength, which is okay, but less ideal. Yeah, the game has some very weird ideas about how you're supposed to build your characters. Not every build is optimal or useful, which I suppose is understandable, but also frustrating. What up, droid? This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I'm trespassing... Uh, my weapons are my authority? And don't think I wouldn't enjoy blowing you to bits. I am programmed not to respond to threats until attacked directly. I have been programmed to defend myself accordingly. But even if I am terminated, another will take my place. You will still be denied entrance. Leave immediately. Only those on... These settlers have come to Dantooine seeking privacy. Perhaps we should respect their wishes. I'm investigating at least two different missing persons case. Ah, oh, but they said I don't want to answer the door. So yeah, Karth, we should just leave them alone because that's not suspicious. No, nah, no, nah, okay. You're right, you're right. They said please go away. Can't possibly have an ulterior motive besides just, you know, not wanting to be bothered. Like, if the police knock on your door, it's polite to at least answer the door and perhaps answer some questions rather than just be like, fuck you, I don't talk to cops. Because... No, I mean... please. Take my wife and children instead. Anything. Set a bad precedent there, man. Uh, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. I love how just chaotic evil that is. Like, haha, maybe I will take your wife and children. Why? Why would you cry? Unfortunately, the check against stuns is pretty low, so a lot of these people are going to resist the stun of that attack as my strength sucks. It is strength that this is based off of, right? I know I just read this. Uh, difficulty check of my level plus my strength modifier. Yeah, okay. So as I get higher level, it'll get better, but of course so will the enemy, so I need to be building my strength modifier primarily, because that's an active form of defense. It won't, you know, stop me from taking damage, but if they're stunned, then they can't damage me, and I do more damage to them. It's sort of roguish. Sorta? I mean, it's very roguish. Backstab is, like, 100% rogue. Which is then weird that I have to build strength, to build a rogue, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. This is just going back north, but we went south, so... <clears throat> Let's go back north, because I didn't clear out the western half of whatever the fuck is up north. I only cleared out the eastern half, and I know that there's more up there. And although it isn't related directly to any of the quests that we're on, I am a completionist, and I want to clear out all this stuff to get more XP so we level up so I can get higher strength so we can start falling out of control faster than later. Sooner than later. Wait, what? Comes out right here? Oh, well then... Fudge. Let's take this opportunity to burn through all this again, jump through in the south, and... Just go completely south on the east side, then we'll sweep through the furthest south point go back north through the west and then we'll wrap up back over here and we'll have access to everything. 
Now, although some Path Hounds do respawn, not all Path Hounds respawn. Remember, when we were just over here, there were a lot more Path Hounds and not just big horn Path Hounds. Not just horny boys. Uh, <laughs> So it's not like we can really that effectively grind for experience. Although these do did something like 200 Just nothing to shake a stick at when... To hit the next level for Karth, we're looking at something like 6,000. 200 adds up a lot faster than 50 or 75. But I think it's only those two. There might be a third over here that respawn. Yeah, so it's only 400 XP that keeps respawning. And there's enough potential experience in the rest of the game that you can hit max level without without trying too hard. Though, I've always made a very intentional effort to be a friggin' tryhard. Guys, shoot it. Aggro, please. Nice! Why is there no shooting going on here? Excuse me? You oh, okay, there you go. Well, that means some of my feats probably should have been spent improving our critical strike, because I didn't realize how good it was. I guess I can take a look at that the next time we unlock a feat. If we do anytime soon, though it'll be a tough call because I do want to upgrade our ability to use lightsabers and a few other things in there. Feats are actually something I want quite a lot. That phrasing could be misconstrued. Have a grenade! I didn't need to do that, I just, I just wanted to. Now this is nice. This is shitty AI pathfinding working for us, not against us. You asked for this. Here it is. And she <laughs> dead. Why don't, why don't we focus on this one? Right, so why don't we focus on this one? You ask for this! You <laughs> Excellent, level up. You get some skills, which I'm not crazy about. Here, have this thing I'm never going to use. Get toughness. What? Alright, now we're just gonna say return to the Evan Hawk. Oh, look, I'm better. Transit back. Now, some respawn, granted, but do significant numbers of them respawn. No. Good. Ah, yeah, here's here's what we're supposed to be down here for. Juhani. I will be your doom! Oh, right, it's one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Hawkward. I need you to get stunned, huh? Thank you. Nah, but like, get stunned, oh fuck. We're gonna die. The entire party has been killed. Fucking excuse you? All right, we'll come back to Jihani because I'm bad at lightsaber duels. I need more strength to do more damage. I need our critical strike to hit more often. 
Might be a good idea to pick up some lightsaber crystals to make my lightsaber better, or to pick up heals and force powers so I could actually actually heal myself instead of just standing there and dying at her. Defensively, we're in a really awkward position for the rest of the game because Jedi are presumed to just use Jedi robes, but you're okay. But don't provide that much defense. But if I'm wearing armor like I am now, I'm going to be unable to properly use power. It's kind of a Jedi's gimmick. I mean, the lightsaber is a big part of that gimmick too, but mostly. Mostly the queuing and lightning and pushing stuff around it. Pretty cool too. Hmm. Ah, just trying to level up again, maybe. Or both. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm not that worried. Honestly, we're off of Paris, so we're out of the part of the game I was worried most about. The King Arena. Now we have a lot more sandboxy ways to do this play around. And I'm learning. Slowly. <clears throat> so yeah, we want to go over there, but I'm not at all prepared for that. So I want to go over here, but my health is abysmal, so we're going to part, <laughs> travel back to the Evan Hawk. The only downside to not having, we're gonna transit back, not having, oh Jesus, hello, <laughs> Bastila or some other Jedi to heal us, is that we have to quick travel back to heal. Which has been a huge inconvenience, but it does mean that a few things will respawn. And that's something I have to be cognizant of. Gonna get this stun off. That no stun. I'm going down. Unless you stun now. Nope. All right, I'm down. <laughs> what? Time to rumble. Actually, can you focus on the Duros? Cause this is gonna have less. Time. This is why you travel with soldiers. And we're in data pad. The melee shield is actually quite good, but we get better strength amplifiers. These strength amplifiers raise my strength to 14, which doesn't seem like a lot, but seriously, every little bit we can get that up is fairly significant. Mandalorian data pad, Mandalorian data pad. So let's take a look at these data pads. First one, Yar, did you take out? Did you remember to take out that XT model bike today? There was something funny with one of the intakes, and I thought it could jam. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. If someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plunged right into the ground within a kilometer. Jar went missing in Sector B, and then Riza saw somebody moving south of there. Take a couple of troops to find out what it is. If they look suspicious, terminate. And there goes all the med kits I found. <laughs> so we're not going to bother Johanny, because I'm not ready for her yet. <laughs> yeah, you've been AFK for a while. We are no longer in boring cityscape. We're in boring rolling. Grassland. Is this it? No. No, no, no. I should cut over. Yeah, right here. Oh, God. A 
Print is your arrival here is well timed for you. I'm Bullock, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. Communication did not pose a problem, as the suspects and I speak basic and Hatties. I was going to handle this case myself, but now you're here to be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you've been learning your lessons at the Academy. Though you're not yet a full Jedi, perhaps you could assist me in sorting out the truth from the lies. What do you want me to do? Listen to the stories I was given by two suspects. I have brought an information retrieval droid with an access to archives of both the Jedi Enclave, Enclave and the Predator <laughs> Planetary Capital. I've used my wisdom experience to offer you some guidance, but I will not solve the case for you, for there is little benefit if you do not solve the problem yourself. Consider each man's account and can check the facts with the information droid. Once you've gathered all evidence you think you need, run it through possible scenarios with me. If you're unable to come with a satisfactory resolution, I will take these men to the Enclave and deal with them myself. Oh. Dead man. Powder Natic was shot in the back with a blaster rifle. Rifle was found lying near his body with blood stains on it. It's been sent back to the Enclave for analysis. The other two men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was Handen Gould, he was unarmed. The other was Richard Rusov, who was carrying a hunting laser. Both men say they did not do anything and that they came across the body, but both also accused the other. Obviously, there's more to this than what we've been told. There's one last thing. I arrived, Hand was holding his side, and Rickard was favoring one of his legs. You would do well to remember this as we progress through the case. If there's anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Yo, Rickard. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? Yeah, all right. Uh, gonna go take a statement from Handen. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handen Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Yes, of course. Really? <laughs> well, then I assure you on my reputation, I had nothing to do with the killing. I will help you with the case as best I can, though. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over <sighs> and found this man... Yes, running. I use head. running as a means to locomote from place to place. You fucking what? Go on. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Right. Droid. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with his problem. Talk I faster. I information <laughs> retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of the Jedi, Jedi Enclave. Yes, we've been over this. Yes. I have already retrieved. Yeah. Is there any... Yes. Tell me about these, these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals. Not all of them benign. The Iriaz are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cath hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cath hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about the body. My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Nope. Very well. So, what do you... What did you see happen? Well, I was out hunting Iriaz south of... Yes, shot you shot Calder it. must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. I want something so, else. Why were you I out I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting hunting Iriaz. was in my blind, blind. Was south of here when I spotted one. You were now, looking I don't into the sun. Uh, you want to ask something else? You were limping, well, are you hurt? Kind of sprained my ankle running through... Yeah. Okay. 
Spraying your ankle, huh? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Ken, uh, what did you see happen? You didn't see anything happen. You were over the bridge. You heard a shot came I over. over. I just oh, hey, so I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks. One of you were lying. Rickard's coming out of the rocks. I had no idea blaster. what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baloo came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to... All right. Uh, you're holding your side. Are you injured? Injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned How I, I run. That's I, I'm fit. So fit. All right. What were you I doing out here? I was taking my daily constitution. <sighs> I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. You often run yes, around the place. Quite often. I, a healthy body. All right. That's all for now. Back to you, Robo. Uh, I'll have more questions later. Okay, go go over it. Go over it. Oh. One discuss murder. Sure, it's the beginning. Find the truth in each piece of the puzzle. We will no doubt resolve the case. Handle said he was nearby. He heard a shot, ran over. When the phone called her already dead, he said Rector came out of a shadow of rocks holding a blaster in his hands. Rector said he was hunting the area, saw his one through the glare and shot at it. It's possible Rector may have shot, called her accidentally, and Handon may have found the body. Obviously, one of these men is not telling it. Handon's lying. Why do you believe that? Fat people always lie. He didn't mention the body. Weapon found by the body. He was right here at the right time. Here, actually, I reconsidered. Rickard is lying. Uh, it was cloudy. There was no sun glare. Yes, very well. Very well done. It was very cloudy this morning. If it had happened, as Rickard said, the sun would not have been visible at the time of the killing. You seem to have caught with Rickard and been alive. It seems I was correct in assuming you could help me with this case. He does prove his guilty by thinking taking the first step in unraveling the mystery. You should proceed to the next point. Find motive. I'll be here. Yeah. All right. So, Rickard. Uh, did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. Okay. We we're actually business partners. Can yep. I leave now? Yeah, business partners, and then it went awry. Uh, da, da. why would someone want to kill Jedi him? Jedi so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything, when the simple answer is usually the right one. Yep. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. Yep. All right. Thanks. Very, very informative. You didn't like him. People get murdered How all the I time. Do? Great. Did you know? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend. I never really associated with him. Didn't associate but with him? Merely having heard unkind things about someone. Heard bad things about him. Nobody said you killed him. I'm yet. sorry. Uh, uh, why would someone um, want to kill him? He was well, involved in see, sordid business. Disreputable, disreputable business practices. Business practices disreputable clients. Even now, even I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to keep this. Yep. All right. Uh, that's all for now. Robo. Report. Is yes, there Uh, what the do you know about them? Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gold. Is yes, there any uh, how about them? According to the municipal authorities near the Garang spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene. Is that in restored order? Uh, okay. I'll okay. be back later. So. Hey. How can I be a. You didn't call it a better thing you admit. You rented this speeder with him. No, oh, you hate speeders. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you. Look, I want the truth. My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could How? not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to tell How? the law. It's How are you in the next I was room? just out running, and... trying to clear my head for the divorce right. proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Running's not a crime, of not course. yet. Trump's so, presidency isn't over now? yet, buddy. Uh, I thought Calder was you. He you thought Calder was now cheating. I don't you. love Calder. We've been partners. Can't deny it. There's some bad blood right. between you, right? Okay. Yay! 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 Yay!
Mistach Miki. That's a murder. murder. Must have the conclusions. Anything else you might need? Uh, hold up. I haven't learned anything yet. Okay, so this is phase three. It's so annoying, and I'm standing within. Okay, I'm standing within Kurt's uh, hitbox, so I couldn't. Oh god, I can't. I can't weave. God. What? There we go. What? I wish you could just talk to first? them, get all the information at first. Okay, that now about the weapon. It was stolen from them. your house. Okay. That's very convenient. You wanted to kill Carter for having an affair with his wife. For your wife not an affair with his wife. That would be a little extreme. Okay, uh, all right. Hand and done. Record. So, you two you look know? so similar. Stupid. What do you that know about the weapon? Oh, You've never seen that. it before. Uh, you thought Calder was that cheating we... you. I'm going to ask you something else. All right. Ro Robert. Is there any other... So report a hand in blast being stolen. There's no missing weapon report. Tell me a weapon that is seen. Okay, now uh, we'll come back to this later, then I have to go over to you and be like, hey! Hey! That harp even how can I be Oh no, I I go to you and be like, yo, it's his gun. He said it was stolen, but it wasn't stolen, so he lied about it being stolen. God, hand and lied, they're both liars, terrible people. Oh. Rickard. So. Are you hurt? Right. Oh, I know. Alright, hey, hey, hand. That's all I want to know for now. Is there any? Tell me about blood I just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been... The blood on the weapon is definitely not Calder's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the... We cannot get any more specific analysis from that. Is that... not belong to him. Okay. So somebody bled on the gun. That wasn't him. The body of Calder Nettick. He was apparently shot from behind with a blaster. Hey, so, uh... So, what you... You're... Well, hurts, huh? So... Nothing more right now. I'm gonna discuss the murder. Oh. Didn't belong to the victim. It's handled. Oh. He's clutching aside. Hey, My hey, god! What are you doing? The one There's blood! Room. He's some, fruit, some kind of blaster wound to his side. Ricker killed Calder for cheating him in business. While shooting Calder, he must have also been hit by hand and by accident. They're both guilty. Full conclusion, one most people did not arrive at, but we are not like most people, we are Jedi. Still, I would like to know how you came to the conclusion, you know, Chul Calder was cheating Rickard in business, but what possible motive could Hand have for wanting Calder dead? He was having an affair with his wife? Yes, well done, both men have reason to want Calder dead. This is my theory of the morning events. Both men knew Calder would be out here this morning, and each wanted to kill him. And then found him first and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife. Shortly, Rickard arrived on the scene. From a distance, he saw a hand in fell with Calder, so we shot him in retaliation for the credits. Calder had cheated out of them in their business. Hand would have dropped his blaster, the one we found at the scene, covered in blood. He probably thought Rickard was going to kill him, so he called us, hoping he could convince us it was Rickard. That is enough. The culpability of both of you in the murder and the attempted murder of Calder and Nedek is evident. Additionally, Rickard and Wusoff can be charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder of Hand and Gould. I place you both under the rest of the Jedi Order and will escort you to holding facilities in the Jedi Archive. You've done well here, it's obvious you've been studying your lessons carefully. I want to be sure to enjoy the Jedi Council your performance in this little test. Good, did good. Holy fuck, I hate that mini quest. It drags on so long, even when I'm clicking through. Jesus, yeah, that almost took 15 minutes. It's a good use of uh, game space, though, right? All that could happen within a little area. It's very pseudo escape roomy. Like, it's a small space full of information that you use to solve a mystery, which is pretty cool. It's also kind of repetitive and not enough to keep it interesting for that one. You asked for this! <laughs> it's so nice not to be looking through conversation anymore. <laughs> Time to rumble! 
Yo. Is this the exit to the south? Yes, it is. And that's the exit to the north. Very cool. All right. So there's nothing else I want to do in this sector. Juhani's over here, but I am not not in shape to take her on right now. So let us save. Return to the Abbot Hawk. Transit back to where we were, just so we get healed. And keep going south. Do other quests so we can level up. More importantly, get crystals so I can make my lightsaber slightly better. The Sandal Estate. Now, I don't think we have the whole... Sandal. Sandal, not Sandal. Missing person quest until we become a proper Jedi. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I'm sorry, uh, my weapons are my authority? <laughs> God, these droids are so nihilistic. Like, it doesn't matter if you kill me. They'll just replace me with another droid. It's kind of sad. Like, my life is meaningless. I serve only... The only purpose I have is serving my masters. I'm willing to stretch this out a little bit more. I don't know if I'm going to stream this for any more tonight. Yeah, yeah, here. This is a good place to take a break because it gives me... When I load this up, there will immediately be something in front of me to give me direction of what the hell I was doing. I will definitely be streaming more this week. I might stream something else tonight, might switch over to Stellaris or something else, well, we'll see. But for now, I want to take a break and hang out with my partner. Till then, um, if you're watching on YouTube, this is it for the day, but you know, there will be more up tomorrow, so stop by again then. In the meantime, make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, all that silliness. If you are watching on Twitch, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I'll probably be back again tomorrow. If not, I'll definitely be back Friday, Saturday, but I'm leaving for mostly week-long trip come Sunday, so I won't have much up next week. Just look at what I'm posting on YouTube instead. Toodaloo!